What's up? Today I'm going to be trying out MSG today, straight up for the first time. I don't really know anything about MSG. I know it's got a bad rap. Uh, I know that it's in like some processed foods and stereotypically in like Chinese foods in America. And people say it's, you know, well, well here's what I heard. I heard that it was like a smear campaign against Chinese food. And they said that MSG was bad and so you shouldn't eat it. You know, that's, I, I don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard. I heard that science says it's really not that bad for you. It's maybe comparable to salt. I don't know. You know, I didn't really do my research before this video, but I sometimes talk about this in a joking way. When I eat something that tastes really good and I can't quite put my finger on it, I say, you know what, I think there's some MSG in there. But, um, you know, this is said to give it, give food like a, a certain kind of umami and depth of flavor that can't be you know, reached otherwise. So, you know, whenever I'm watching uh, Triple D, Tri Diners, Jarvins, and Dives, or some show like that, they go behind the scenes, and they're like, oh, I can't show you this the secret ingredient mix. It, my head just defaults to, okay, there's probably some MSG in there. They just don't want to admit it because, like I said, it's got a bad reputation. I have no idea what this tastes like. Um, I picked this up for about like $2. You can find this everywhere over here in Korea. And through the bag, it just looks like, kind of like some salt, but a little bit different. It's the crystals are are different. Hopefully I can get a decent close-up view of it once I open it, but um, this is 100 grams. And apparently on the back, you can see a little bit of a ratio. They say, instead of using 10 grams of regular salt, use seven grams of salt and then 0.3 grams of this MSG. So I don't know what that means. I do have some regular kosher salt over here. This is in a... Uh, Himalayan salt kind of shaker, but it's not Himalayan salt. I just put it in this shaker because I didn't want to. Anyway, let's open this up and uh, see what this is all about. Because, you know, if I talk about MSG, at least I should know what it tastes like stirred up. You know what I mean? Right off the bat, it has a smell to it that I didn't really, I, I didn't expect that. It's almost got like a, uh, like a, a faint smell of like a bag of chips, like an empty bag of chips. Not like a super flavored bag of chips, but like a plain bag of chips or crackers or something like that. Let's pour some of this out. It's almost like tiny little grains of rice. You know, this kind of looks like it was formed in some kind of lab. These little crystals here. Um, I don't know if they're going to send me back in time. But um, yeah, that's pretty interesting there. Let me compare that to salt. It is definitely a, uh, a different consistency. And it's more, I don't know, it's, it's not as long. The salt definitely has more of a sand-like structure to it. And if you compare them side by side, uh, that machine is wider. That's a little bit interesting. Obviously, there's different types of salt as well. So, you know, your mileage may vary, but uh, definitely a different look. And if I saw this, you, you know, you'd be able to tell the difference with your own eyes. But would you be able to tell the difference with the taste buds? I don't know why I did that. We're gonna get a new pile here. MSG over here. Salt over here. Let me smell this. Yeah, it smells more like salt. This definitely has a weird smell to it. It's interesting. All right, going in. I should get some water to cleanse the palate. All right, going in. That's weird. I gotta taste the salt. Okay, much different. Way different. That's actually pretty, pretty fascinating. The salt tastes like straight up salt. There's no other way to describe it. It tastes salty and it tastes like salt. This does not. This right here, It has some salt to it, some saltiness. But it also has this this flavor. It's got a, an, another flavor to it. Like I said, this salt right here, it has one flavor profile, and that is just salt. This one is salty, but it also has some kind of, dare I say, umami to it. Um, dare I say, like, earthy or maybe kind of 
kind of like almost a, I don't want to say seafood, like sea-like flavor, but tinny, like almost like a blood, kind of gamey, organy, like liver. I'll tell you what, I prefer regular salt eating it straight up. I know that's not how it's supposed to be eaten, but even if I was gonna put one of these into a food, which I might do that taste test later down the road if I can figure out some kind of fair test, blind taste test to compare the two, but I would choose salt over this, just eating it straight up like this, cause yeah, like a, a tinny kind of bloody flavor to it, which is weird. And honestly, not that pleasant. That's kind of weird. I feel like this, you know, maybe in certain foods, like a, like a stew, kind of something real, you know, earthy, kind of real soupy and gloopy. Uh, this could really do something to it that this wouldn't do. But I'll tell you what, if I was cooking myself, I don't think I would ever reach for this and I don't think I would ever want, think to add this. You know, maybe a ramen, maybe kind of, I can see why it would be added you know, to certain Asian cuisines, perhaps. It does kind of have like a, I don't know if I can say an Asian type flavor, but. Like I could see it going into, you know, different Korean stews. There's a lot of stews over here that, that might benefit more from an, a deeper umami flavor that have, you know, either seafood or, you know, a lot of vegetables or, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but. Yeah, not a huge fan. I'm not gonna eat any more of this. You know, I don't, I just don't find it very pleasant, but it's honestly, I thought it was gonna taste just like salt and maybe slightly different, like, but it's very different. It's way different. The smell is way different. And um, if you, like, I, you know, I sometimes say, if you're into cooking or if you're into food in general, I think it's definitely something to, uh, to take into consideration, trying, you know, raw ingredients so you know what you're working with. And you know, maybe now when I do taste something that has some kind of depth of flavor that I can't really describe, I can actually say it kind of tastes like MSG. I'll say on its own right now, not very good to me. But um, yeah, maybe in the future we'll do another taste test. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Real short, real quick, real simple. But uh, I'm about to skate out of here for now. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.